vessel. Let strength be grant so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. What up, Internet? I'm Young Guru, and welcome back to Demon Souls. In the last episode, we defeated the Phalanx. Let's return to the Nexus. awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Right, and we are in the Nexus. This time we know where the Monumental is. Th that hairpin. That belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Of course, Thomas, because you're the man. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Oh, praise the maker. Increase item carrying capacity. I do believe that's what it is. Yep. A ring that Stockpile Thomas once picked up off the street. Not much more to that at all. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on you. Let's uh, drop off some stuff. Always drop off your stones. Because they will weigh you down. So many mail breakers. It's kind of ridiculous. I'll get rid of my bolts. All of them. Keep those. All the raggedy robes. Robe made of layers of ragged fabric. It's covered with tears. Unsightly open seams and numerous unsightly insects wriggling within it. No sane person would dare wear something like this. So they're all the same. That was cut off the corpse of Stockpile Thomas's wife. Or so I believe. A soft ring bearing a deep red seal made by Jerry, a friend of Sage Freak, the visionary who is known for his magical handicrafts. The seal's design is a flame. That's an odd sentence, but I think Jerry is known for his magical handicrafts, not Freak. Though Freak is also a magician, so you never know. Um, is there anything else I want to drop off? Old Spice, don't need you. I'll keep on Archstone with me. None of these are really... I will put the boss souls away, though, just so I don't accidentally use them. You have a heart. Let's see, I forget what she says before you talk to the Monumental. The Monumental awaits the above. The Monumental will explain the Nexus to thee. The Monumental awaits okay. the, the Monumental. She says nothing new. So let's go talk to our friend the Monumental. All the way up above. He sits next to a very crucial item. God, I remember the first time I did this. Could not find this guy. This, there's a door here before you do Phalanx, so you can't actually get up to the Monumental. And even further up, we're not going to be able to complete it, but maybe later in the game we'll get this unlocked. If you are in online mode, this door will open, and I think 
it's either PvP arena or it's a way to brag about your accomplishments. I don't really remember which one. So maybe at the end of the game we'll go into there. Oh my god, the Nexus. Look at this statue. It's got a, a catalyst or a spear, maybe? Not quite sure. And then a big old sword. And then an inversion of the statue kind of there. Um, but a lot rougher. Not really... You can barely see even the shape of a body. I don't get the inversion at all. Oh, it looks so cool. Speaking of inversions, you got statues here. Just normal. Normal ass statues. Monumentals all over the place. Dead. Wonder how long they've been around. When you come down here... Upside down statues. What? <laughs> what? Uh, <clears throat> I don't understand these statues and the design of the Nexus at all. I just think it looks phenomenal. Also, all the monumentals. So cool. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Let's quick look at that. An eye stone which has deteriorated more than halfway resurrects the user's body. Can only be used in soul form. Once it is used, it crumbles away and is lost. We're well, gonna be duping that item to be able to um, do something I'd like to do, which is manipulate world tendency, and I don't feel like doing it the hard way. Hey, monumental! Oh man, if I had noticed that the first time, one, he's the only one with a lit candle in front of him. Two, well, that head snap, right there. Let's talk to this little punk. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be. We were able to lull the old one back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber, and seal it away for all eternity. If not, 
The deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Of course, son. Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. So it's essential you say yes to that prompt if you want to get the friendship ring from the monumental later on in the game. Otherwise, you got to wait till your second playthrough. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the arch stones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is our short, and before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the arch stones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the Old One. The monumentals perished, and the arch stones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the Old One. Alright, so King Alant. I'm curious, I assume he's talking about King Alant the Twelfth. But there have been 12, apparently, King Alans, so... He might be talking about earlier. Um, but a lot of this game is about whether or not the soul arts are the cause of humanity's destruction. Whether or not technology is the cause of humanity's downfall. Or whether or not miracles are the salvation of humanity. And we'll talk to a bunch of people about that. Hold up. Can I align this in a way to connect with something below? Something over there? Kinda, kinda loops. Huh. But now we got our four archstones opened. We'll never get to the land of the giants. It's a shame. Rumor has it that was cut content from the game. Um, but they did a good job of, because you have your different sectors, you can really easily carve one off and just say it was destroyed back in the day by uh, demons or something. Look at that, they do align. Very cool. Oh, and so do you, somehow. Oh, I don't know how I'd align you. I also find it interesting when you're in body form, the ground beneath you quivers and shakes. But if you're in soul form, no such thing happens. All right. Um, let's talk to her and level up first. Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Blue eye stone, white eye stone. Temporarily connect to the diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the Eye Stone. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. So the blue and white Eye Stones, one is request help and one is offer help. Proof you have been accepted by the Monumental as a demon slayer. When you die and enter soul form, use this to send a soul sign. So it can only be used in soul form. The white shadow of all eye stones controls the summoning of phantoms. Oh, this, okay, this doesn't allow you to summon. This allows you to banish people. Interesting. Then we got ephemeral eyes, so. Blue and white, full stones, broken stone. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? You know it, girl? So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. As for me, 
I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit and... Alright, seek power. So first thing we're gonna... Oh. I don't really want to do this, but I want to get these up to 10 so I can talk to the two soul art providers. And then we're just going to spam dexterity. Delightful. Um, we are going to click, 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 clack, click. Put these on the bar and consume them slowly but surely. Thou seek. I will touch the demon inside. Um, fifteen dax. Do I go for invite yet? No, let's get dax up to twenty. To eighteen. Delightful. Um. So I'm going to keep one of each item, just because that's the way I like to play, even though these aren't really that unique looking. Um, let's put Half Moon and Late Moon up. Then I do want to put... Where did you go? Nexial Binding. We get a dupe an item. I can forge I know you can. Ooh, upgrade weapons, actually. Wouldn't like that long bow. To level 2. Longbow to three is going to take four more hard stone, so we'll do that later. Bye. Hello again. I'm keeping it. Talk to you. Deposit. Ma. Stone of ephemeral eyes. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Thanks for all the extra eyes, buddy. Hello. No, we don't need the brass telescope because we have uh, archery. Take items. Let's take some ephemeral eye stones. Let's take like 20 of them. We're not actually going to use them for a while, but it's always good to have them around. As I mentioned in earlier videos, if you are in body form and die, you push towards black world you tendency. Heart of gold. So having ephemeral eye stones is very nice for that. Um, bo -bo -bo. Okay, we're fine. Um, now that we've talked to the monumental, delightful, we have our spell providers. Back in the time that I lived below Bolitaria Castle, King Aland left on some strange business then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. If I did not have my miracle stone shard... Oh. All right. So you might not have survived. I, I don't really get her character that much. She's just um, devout, but also kind of oblivious to the world, in my opinion. She got a friend who's seeking Saint Urbain. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. I forget where Urbane is located. Oh Lord, punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. Oh honorable one, I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Oh, honorable one, I deep will. So he's at a loss. He's lost his saint. His master. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. 
I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. Learn vehicles. What do you got? Heal, antidote, evacuate, and hidden soul. We're not going to learn any of these. It's just nice to know that they're there. And then you remember them by talking to this fool. You have separate attunement slots for miracles and sorcery, which is kind of interesting. A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects, and yet one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. Clearly, that must be the case. A miracle is they have magic. I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we meet again. So I'm pretty sure that when they talk about God, they are not talking about um, the old one. Because in the intro cinematic to the game, they talk about how God created the world, and then on the second day, created the old one. So I'm fairly certain that when they talk about miracles of the gods, they are not talking about miracles of the old one. Even though the soul arts could be considered miracles or sorceries of the old one. And here's this. This dude is a complete punk. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Freak is a great sage who systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Freak as soon as possible. All the more reason that I must... What does he teach? Soul Arrow, Flame Toss, super effective. Attack, Enchanted Weapon Protection, Cloak, Water Veil, and Demon's Prank. So I think it's interesting you get um, <clears throat> both offensive and defensive spells for both miracles and sorceries. Um, wherein... Actually, no, you had great shield and stuff like that. Never mind. I was thinking that you only had offensive attacks with sorcery and Dark Souls, but that is a lie. Soul Arrow is what you start out as with if you're a magician. I see. See yourself. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Freak as quickly as possible. All right. And then one last person to talk to. Our friend in blue. How's it going, buddy? Have you met the last surviving monumental? Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty if you ask me. Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest us. The black robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type with eyes occluded by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware, do not devolve into a foul beast. What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. At least we will be safe. <laughs> oh man, Crestfallen's on the verge. 
have given up on life. He has, he has more astute insight into the world than most of the other people around here, recognizing that the Maiden in Black may be more than just a human. She might indeed be the ultimate demon consuming souls left and right. But yeah, we've uh, pretty much opened up the entire Nexus now. We have the Monumental as our friend. We have our elementary miracle and spell provider, sorcery provider. Um, and we have missions to go free the advanced miracle and soul providers. The advanced miracles come from the lands of the Storm King, zone two. Advanced sorcery, Tower of Latria, zone one. Which is where we will be heading in the next episode is up to Latria. But until then, I'm Young Guru. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you uh, next time.